Left her in the hotel. She ate the Gideon Bible. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's pooping scripture right now. It's everything in red, everything Jesus said is exactly. amazing. She's a <laughs> <laughs> she just cut through Psalms. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, I love this dog more than I did any of my ex-husbands. Yeah. I should have never been a wife. I should have always been a dog owner. Just a dog owner. Yep, just a dog owner. Do you dress her up in clothes? Well, she hates clothes. Yeah, she's most a dogs do. Okay, she's a hoe. Yeah. She doesn't like to, to dress up. <laughs> she's a nudist. Yes. Um, she hates clothes and she runs down, you know, next to the sofa trying to get it off. So that just seems to... You know, too harsh on her, so right. she just runs around naked. Exactly. Except with high heels. Right. Right. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with a dog wearing high heels. Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. No, you'd think it'd be awkward, but it's kind of cool. It is very cool, and she walks very well in them. Yeah. Stilettos. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. She's a real lady. She is a lady and could be a pole dancer. We're working on that. Yes. Yeah. There you go. That'd be great. Yeah. Mm. I got her a little tutu. Did you really? A little pink tutu, and I thought, oh, she's going to love this. Yeah. And I thought, this is so cute. Me being a short, fat menopause woman, I'm going to work her into my act. So I had a tutu made for me. Now picture this. So we're both going to be in these tutus on stage, okay? Uh -huh. But she won't stay in the tutu. No? No. She tries to chew it off herself? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, she just goes insane over it. So Great. now here I am by myself. In a tutu. 64 years old, wearing a tutu. It means nothing on stage. Nothing. Right. Very awkward. It's just weird when it's just you by yourself. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel pretty, so right. I, I'll, I will continue to wear it. Yeah, there you go. That's I can fun. see that. Yeah. Besides, you know, the tutu, I don't know if your dog has time for ballet classes. No, and I never even thought about sending her to ballet classes. I wonder if they have ballet for dogs. I bet you they do. You know they have yoga for dogs? Are you sure? Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Instead of doing the downward dog, they do the downward human, though. Mm. They do the doggy yoga. <laughs> it's true. They have doggy yoga. There are people out there, though, that, you know, that will spend money on their pets in like you know doggy daycare yeah those people need to be thrown in jail yeah because they are taking advantage of people that are mentally incompetent yes that's what they're doing and you can drop your dog off at the spa and they get a massage they right. get a little workout yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah. dogs don't need a daycare they don't need a spa they don't need <laughs> yoga you know they need to be a dog they need to be a dog yeah you know what your dog doesn't care when you leave like your dog's fine, you know. No, and your dog. This is the difference between a husband and a dog. Uh -huh. You know, I could leave and be gone a couple of days. Husband didn't even notice it. <laughs> I could leave five minutes and come back. Blossoms all over me. She's right. like, oh, yeah. where have you been? I've missed you so much. You yeah. know, a cat, much like a man. Yeah. Uh, yes. You will leave your house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the cat will fold the bed down, right. mm -hmm. move under the pillow, make it back up, smoke <laughs> cigarettes, and act like she did nothing mm -hmm. when you were gone. That's right. Yeah. The cat is That's the That's devious. The they're, they're the work nice. of the devil. They are. <laughs> they really are. Anybody that owns a cat, get rid of it. They're get much it. like women, the work of the devil. Right. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You think that women are the work of the devil? Uh, I think that we are extremely deceiving. Mm-hmm. Um, I can go with that. Yeah, you know, when you're dating us, we act one way. When you marry us, it's 180 degrees Completely different. Completely different. But with men, men are the same all the time. Always. Oh, uh, yeah. We're very just, you know, you can always count on the fact that we're going to be a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. And you can count on the fact that what seems like garbage that needs to be taken out mm -hmm. in a man's eye, we can cram this down and get, more, you know, five more days out of this. Very really. true. And when a woman says, could you take out the garbage, she means immediately. Right that second. Yes. Yeah. And men are so simple, and I love yep. men. I, yep. Men want a cha the channel changer. Yep. They want to watch TV, mm -hmm. you know, and it doesn't take much to even feed them and make them happy. No. But then you marry us, and we're like, you are entirely too damn happy. Right. And I must destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that so many times, I, I won't even admit to how many, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And we will take your hopes and dreams. And we will them. convince you that you want a child. Right. And then we leave you. Now you have child support. Yeah. It goes on much longer than for a car payment. Much, yeah. much longer. Yeah. That it does. It's like yeah. four cars. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Except for that one Cadillac I bought that one time. That took me 18 years to pay off. Wow. But that's Understandable. Okay. Yeah. The interest rates will get you. Yeah. Right. You've got to have really good credit to get yeah. that low interest rate. It's very true. And I what are you doing driving a Cadillac? I don't know. I, You're not old enough, and you can see over the steering wheel. You only drive a Cadillac <laughs> when you know you've got your belt hanging out. It's dragging right. on the highway, and you can't see your head over the steering wheel. Exactly. Then, you know, because when I go to get my car serviced, they'll go, are you ready to get a Cadillac? I go, no, I'm an inch too tall. But right. I'm coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the steering wheel just a little too well. Yeah. yeah. 
I have full vision, and in just a few short years, though, I will be in a Cadillac. That's right, exactly. You'll be wearing those sunglasses, those big, like, you know, giant ones that go over prescription glasses. <laughs> yeah, and you wear those when you have cataract surgery, which I'm coming up on cataract surgery. Are you really? For the first time in my life, I'll have 20-20 vision. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. And my last ex-husband, uh, my contact lens were the same age that he was. <laughs> and I feel like if I had a newer prescription, we would have never gotten married. Right. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to love this cataract surgery. 2020 <laughs> vision, I can see you coming, guys. I can see you coming. There you go. That's right. See, me and Rainbow, we take steps to prevent the cataracts. Yeah. Right? Uh, well, that prevent. That just That's, prevents glaucoma. Yeah. Does it? Same difference. No. Oh, oh so you, <laughs> it prevents something, and that's all I care about. Well, there you go, busting our bone. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see me having cataracts, do you? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so apparently it Hey, in Colorado, legalized. I yes. know. That's what we're but, moving. Did we tell you? Okay, here's the thing. They legalized it statewide. Right. But federal, it's not legalized. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. uh -huh. it's So, really, it's not legal. Right. So, you... So Colorado says it's cool to smoke weed even recreationally, but the government right. still says no. So that means still no, you still can't smoke weed recreationally. What's the point of even voting on it then? Exactly. Right? Yeah. But the government. But then again, though, but you know, socially, you know, statewide, you don't really have the feds. You don't have the DEA breaking right. into a house party. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. Exactly. So, you know, if you want to chief up at home, right. have fun. I think that isn't that kind of like the. I think that's how it should you be though. Do it anyway. I think it should be like that everywhere. It should. I, I think that you know, if you want to recreationally smoke marijuana, you're going to do so in the privacy of your own home. You don't have like children around. You're not getting them or your dog high or anything like that. I think you should be fine. I think you Try should be it. able to do anything you want to do in the privacy of your home. Yes. You can shoot up. Yes. You can give yourself um, shock treatment on your own. Whatever you want to do, oh, you yeah. can do on your own. Shock treatment while you're shooting up. Right. It's like a whole and new smoking oh, weed. Try that, right? Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you. A kind of a trio kind of thing going right, exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. I like. And you know, style. we have fought the drug war how many years? Forever. And we've just learned to grow better weed. That's, That's it. how well we've done. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It went from growing naturally, you know, on the side of the road everywhere, where anybody could grab it and smoke it, to right. now people are growing it in closets in water, growing it even more powerful. Yes. Right. With yeah. grow lights that are very expensive. Now, guys, this is going to shock y'all. I've never done a drug. You've never have? Never? No. But look at me. I've eaten dozens of donuts, and that's my life. <laughs> hey, <laughs> now, nah, okay. I do that, Thank too. you. You know, yeah. you know, if you like donuts, you know you got to try while you're here. you got to go to Bennett's, downtown Fort Myers. Yeah, that's where we just had at the radio station. Bacon donuts that are oh. so good. A TV yes, they have. Right. That's yes. the place from the, the TV. It is the donut shop of all donut it shops. It is wonderful. Oh. Bennett's. Is it? Downtown. Oh. Wonderful. Fantastic. It's, it's food crack. Yes. It is. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I understand that they start with a potato base. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's yeah. true. And, you know, when I go to a restaurant, my favorite order is tater tots, french fries, potato soup, and a baked potato. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Very right. starchy. Starch it up. Very starchy. Yeah. 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 Nothing wrong with that. Well, I'll definitely be Makes trying these stiff. donuts. Yes. Maple Probably bacon. so rich I could only eat a dozen, maybe. Yeah. About that. Mm. A dozen's my cutoff. Yeah. It depends yeah. on where in the room, though. So we'll fight you for them. That's true. I live in that neighborhood. Do you? And um, where where Bennett's is. Bennett's is in it. And, 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 and I'm all about it. While I was voting on Tuesday, the poll, the voting people were bragging that every election year, he sends over in the morning. They, they don't order. He sends them over to the polling places, so where do I need and he thanks and he thanks them for their work. Wow! See, Every wow. Nice election year. That right there is the only reason to volunteer, right there. You for donuts. Let I'll me tell you something. There. Not only is he a good American by making fabulous donuts, true, mm -hmm. but he's sending them to the polls. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. This yeah. guy may give Captain Brown a run for being mayor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's I'm right. not judging. I'm just saying. He's a humanitarian. That's what yes. he is. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun at the Off the Hook Comedy Club. We've got to do a quick break. We'll come back in a second with more of the Tennessee Tramp. This weekend, Off the Hook Comedy Club, 389-6900, or buy them online at offthehookcomedy.com. Oh, yeah.